Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm starting with a circle die cut out of a Spellbinders die and I die cut that out of Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock and I am going to be watercoloring a little bit using two different colors of Distress inks. I have the Broken China and Faded Jeans. So I squirted those with a little bit of water after I put them on my nonstick craft sheet. And then I'm just taking my water brush and picking up some of that color and going over the circle. So I'm going over the entire circle with the broken china. I'm just kind of putting down that base coat of color and I do have quite a bit of water on there. And then I'll go in with a little bit of that faded jeans and just add little bits of that darker color. And then I'll also pick up little bits of the lighter color and just kind of try to blend those two together. Um, I just want a little bit of a marbling look on my background. And then I took my heat tool and dried all of that ink completely because I am going to stamp on this. I'm using the Lawn Fawn Stuck On You stamp set so it has those cute little cacti images. I'm taking the larger cactus and I am going to stamp this with the Field Greens ink from Hero Arts. I'm stamping that right in the center of my circle but more towards the bottom. And then I'm going to take the Cup of Joe ink from Hero Arts. It's a dark brown and I'm going to stamp the little flower pot right on the right hand side and then I'll take the round cactus image and stamp that so it looks like it's right in the flower pot and I'm going to stamp that with the green hills ink it's a much lighter kinda of like more lime green ink it's one of my favorite colors And then I will stamp this other cactus image, or it's not, I don't know if it's really a cactus or what it is, but I'm going to stamp that with the green apple ink from Simon Says Stamp. It kind of reminds me of like the chicks and hens, I think that is kind of what it's supposed to resemble. And then I'm taking the bubble gum and stamping this little flower on top of the round cactus. Alright, so moving on to my background, I have a piece of white cardstock. This measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I have this zigzag dot stencil from Simon's Hus Stamp, and I'm just placing that down with a piece of washi tape. And then I have the here or not hero arts. <laughs> I have white embossing paste. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the right hand side. I'm not covering that entire panel. I just want a little kind of texture on that right hand side of my card. So I'll smooth that out and then scrape off any excess and then you want to clean up your mat and the stencil and the tool right away because otherwise it will dry on there and it's really really difficult to get off so you just want to make sure that everything is clean and then you, can, you can't really see the texture there, but you will at the end in the photos. So for my sentiment, I'm stamping the... It says, I'm stuck on you, and I have a piece of white cardstock. I'm just stamping that with a tuxedo black memento ink. And then you can see there's that little space on the right-hand side. I'm going to tie a little bit of the May Arts Natural Twine into a bow around that side, so that's why I left that a little bit longer. And I also cut a fishtail banner on the other side of that sentiment strip. So I wrapped my twine around there a few times and then tied it into a knot, and then that makes it a little bit easier to tie the bow around there.
and then I can trim off any excess because I don't want those hanging too long otherwise it will cover up my sentiment. Alright, now I can go ahead and assemble my card. So I'll start by adhering down the white piece that has my embossing paste on it. And I'm adhering that to a white A2 size card base. So I took an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper and folded it in half the long way. And then I'm going to pop up that circle. So I'm using the 3D foam squares from Best Creation. I have the larger size. And then I'm going to place that more towards the bottom right hand corner. And then I'll adhere down my sentiment. So I'm going to use 3D foam squares for that as well. I have the smaller ones from Best Creation just because those fit on there a little bit better and then they won't stick out of the edges. Alright, and then I just have to trim off the little bit of extra sentiment banner there. And then my last step, I'm going to round the upper left hand corner using my We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper. I used the half inch side. And then that is my finished card for today, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys back here next time. Bye!